Hi, I'm Puyan from Scratchpad, and I'm gonna show you how to get those abs you've wanted. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna show you a faster way to work with Salesforce, but you'll see how cutting out the hours you're spending on admin work each week will actually help you get those abs or close one more deal for the month. Your choice. If you're an account executive that's constantly being nagged to update Salesforce, the manager that's constantly doing the nagging, or an ops leader who's buried in validation rules and required fields to get your team to follow your sales process, then I think you're gonna love this. As an account executive, you probably have your own spreadsheet of your pipeline, and then to make the updates right before your forecast review, you're probably going to a Salesforce report where you can't update the fields, so you open a new tab for each opportunity, wait for the page to load, hunt for the field you want, double click, make your updates, then cross your fingers and hope no one else made changes before you click on save. Or you may be working out of a Salesforce list view where in Lightning you can update some fields, but not all. For example, we use a field called sales notes to collaborate during handoffs from our account executives to the post sales team. And that's not editable in Lightning. So we still have to go back to the opportunity page. In Salesforce Classic, it's even more limiting since next steps and close dates are really the only editable fields. And for next steps, this is all the space you get. Let me show you a faster way, the Scratchpad way. Just open a tab, go to your pipeline and type. Here, I'm updating my next steps and the changes are instantly in Salesforce. It's that fast. It's a spreadsheet-like experience that you're already familiar with. You can adjust close dates, amounts, or any fields from your Salesforce object. Here, I even have my medic fields. Now let's say I wanna add the implications and champion fields for my opportunity page in Salesforce. Just check the boxes and they're now in your Scratchpad grid view. It's this easy. Create different views to stay on top of your pipeline in ways that work for you. Here, I have a view for opportunities with expired close dates, so I can quickly get things up to date. I also have a view for my one-on-ones, where I can easily see what updates I've made in the last seven days, and even see all the changes for a specific field, like next steps. You can also create Kanban boards, if that's the style that you prefer, where dragging and dropping instantly updates stages, and you can dive deeper into any specific opportunity. Scratchpad works with all your Salesforce objects. Here you can see I have accounts, contacts. You can also include quotes and custom objects. And to make it collaborative, easily share your setup with your colleagues. Or if you're in ops, you can configure custom views for different workflows and different teams. Now, let's say you just finished a call and want to update next steps and close date for one specific opportunity. Just click on search, find the record you want. And again, just type. It's the same fast experience your updates are instantly made in Salesforce. Now, I wanna show you something special called tiles. Think of them as shortcuts to your workflows. Say you're using a sales methodology like Medic or Command of the Message. Just click on the tile and you'll see just the fields you care about and you can make instant updates. No more scrolling through long Salesforce pages to find the fields you need just to make your updates. And creating a tile for your specific workflows is fast. Let's say to move an opportunity to closed one, your marketing and product teams want you to update a field to learn why you won. Just check the box and that's it. Now you can make fast updates. You can also create action tiles, log an activity, create an event, create a new contact, an open task, uh, or even to create quotes. These are just some examples. You can get creative with how you use tiles to fit your needs. Now let's take a look at notes. Scratchpad gives you the same freeform note-taking experience that you're already familiar with in Evernote, Mac Notes, or OneNote. Just create a new note and type. Easily create bullet points, numbered lists, format your text. And instead of starting from scratch each time, create templates for discovery calls or your call outlines, deal plans, and more, and insert them in your note with one click. Now here's where it gets interesting. Bring your Salesforce workflows to your note. Just link your note to the opportunity you're working and your note now becomes your access point to Salesforce. Make fast updates to the fields you care about in real time while that information is still fresh in your mind. No more waiting right until the forecast review. And all your tiles, they're right here. You can get through all your workflows from updating medic or command of the message, log an activity, create a new contact, set up a follow-up task, all faster than you've ever done before. And if you go to Salesforce, you'll see all your updates are there and your raw note is available as well. So sharing insights and collaborating with your manager, sales engineer, account manager, SDR, customer success, or honestly any other team members becomes much easier and more effective. This is just some of what Scratchpad can do. The best step is to try it for yourself. 
It's free to get started, and even the setup process is fast. It takes less than one minute. Just add the Chrome extension and sign in. And if you're not using Chrome, go to app.scratchpad.com and sign in there. And see for yourself how you'll have the capacity to close one more deal each month or quarter, or if you're in post sales, to renew or upsell one more customer. All right, if you've made it this far, then let's be in touch. Send me a note. I'd love to hear what you think or what questions you have. Thanks so much.